you know, there's... President Duterte says he will stop online gambling operations soon. Its future now in danger. State-run Pagor suspended applications for establishment of online gaming sites. Licenses of existing ones might also be cancelled. Casino and gaming stocks have been bleeding out since Duterte became president. We saw several stocks related or which has uh, online gaming business tip down. The biggest casualty, business tycoon Roberto Ongpin's PhilWeb Corporation. It's now just a third of its value. The president singled out Ong Pin as an oligarch whom he wants to destroy. Ong Pin and his daughter Anna Bettina just resigned from PhilWeb. For market analysts, the crackdown on gambling negatively impacts the gaming industry. This might even repel investors or have ripple effects on the casino industry. Shift to those companies who are fundamentally you know, uh, uh, stable. The industry is currently valued at 21 billion pesos. It even grew by a fourth on the first half of 2016. The number of electronic gaming machines has also risen more than sevenfold since 2010. Although some in the industry believe there is still no reason for online gaming firms to delist from the local boards. For one, industry leaders could still talk to the government to solve the problem. The government should also further clarify the rules to create a stable business environment. As long as uh, government will not be uh, just uh, doing a ghost hunt, as long as process is observed, the right process is observed, I don't think there will be panic. Businesses engaged in online gaming should also diversify their ventures in order for them to survive. Rex Remitio, CNN Philippines.